Hello and welcome to Continue with Subcontinental Radio and Television Station. Here are the headlines. President Lun Kung and National Assembly Chairman Zheng Tanmeng attended a thematic exhibition titled National Assembly Daily with the First General Election at the National Assembly House. The National Assembly convened to discuss and review a report on the draft law proposing amendments to the laws on health insurance as part of its eight session agenda. Secretary of Gangda City Party Committee met with the city custom department's leaders to review political task results from the past nine months. Top news today. On October 23rd at the National Assembly House, President Lung Kung, National Assembly Chairman Zheng Tanmeng, along with other National Assembly leaders and deputies, attended the thematic exhibition titled National Assembly Daily with the First General Election. The first general election held on January 6, 1946, represents a significant milestone in Vietnam's history, marking the establishment of a new democratic regime. The success of this election can be attributed to the unity and sacrifices of the Vietnamese people, with the revolutionary press, most notably the National Assembly Daily, playing a crucial role in disseminating information and fostering voter participation. Despite its brief publication period of only 21 days, the National Assembly daily substantially contributed to the election success. In recognition of the 80th anniversary of this historic election and the 8th session of the 15th National Assembly, a thematic exhibition titled National Assembly Daily with the First General Election is currently being held, showcasing the original 15 issues of the newspaper. As part of the ongoing Agenda 48 session, the National Assembly convened on October 24 morning to hear the presentation and review report on the draft law proposing amendments and supplements to various provisions of the law on health insurance. The draft law proposes amendments and supplements to 40 articles concerning health insurance participants, payment responsibilities, benefits, medical examination and treatment organization, fund management, and technical regulations. Its primary objective is to align regulations with related laws, address urgent deficiencies in current legislation, and ensure comprehensive data and consensus. Notably, it includes a transition from four levels of medical examination and treatment to three, effective January 1, 2025, by the law on medical examination and treatment. Overall, the draft law reflects a commitment to administrative reform by streamlining procedures, reducing paperwork, enhancing the use of information technology, and maximizing decentralization and delegation of authority, while ensuring gender equality following international conventions. Furthermore, the National Assembly also discussed various aspects of the draft law on trade unions, which elicited differing opinions among its members. On October 24 morning, Mr. Wen Fang Hiu, alternate member of the Party Central Committee and Secretary of Gangta City Party Committee, had a working session with the Party Committee and leaders of the City Custom Department to discuss the result of political task in nine months and set direction and task for the remainder of 2024. Since the beginning of the year, the Party Committee of the City Custom Department has effectively guided party members and employees in party building and professional tasks. They have promptly implemented the party's policies, directive, and state laws while following Resolution 4 of the Central Committee in promoting Ho Chi Minh's ideology. Training in political theory and professional expertise has been improved, and inspection have been carried out as needed. In the past nine months, the department processed custom procedures for 91 enterprises, achieving an export turnover of 3,428 billion US dollars, with Gangta City contributing over 900 million. Import turnover reached 1,823 billion, with Gangta City accounting for 340 million. The department collected over 2,280 trillion Vietnamese dong in budget revenue, nearly 104% of the estimate while Gangta City collected about $340 billion, nearly 107% of its target, reflecting a nearly 5% increase from the previous year. Based on feedback from the party building committees in city departments, Secretary Nguyen Văn Hiu praised the achievements of the city custom department's party committee and leaders. 
He urged the unit to prioritize party building, particularly in implementing party congresses in line with the Central Committee and CD directives. He highlighted the need to strengthen efforts in preventing corruption, conducting inspections, reforming administrative procedures, and developing strategies to attract businesses for budget revenue. Also on October 24 morning, Mr. Nguyen Van Hiu, alternate member of the Party Central Committee and Secretary of Gangta City Party Committee, led a delegation to meet with the Party Committee of Gangta City Tax Department. In conjunction with its affiliated organizations, the Party Committee of the Tax Department has consistently emphasized the importance of directing propaganda efforts and encouraging members to study the party's directives and state policies. Over the years past nine months, state budget revenue reached 8,550 billion Vietnamese dong, surpassing 70% of the annual target, with certain districts exceeding 90%. Taxpayer satisfaction with administrative procedures surpassed 93%. Secretary of the Party Committee Nguyen Van Hiu commended these accomplishments and urged the tax department to formulate strategies to further increase state budget revenue while addressing business challenges and promoting economic activity. The online conference, chaired by Minister of Agriculture Le Minh Huang, Deputy Head of the Central Steering Committee for National Target Program on New Rural Development, took place on the afternoon of October 23. Currently, there are 8,162 communes nationwide, with 77.4% recognized as meeting new rural standards. 34.6% classified as meeting advanced standards and 7.6% designated as model new rural areas. By the end of 2024, it is anticipated that 79 to 79.5% of communes will meet new rural standards, 38% will meet advanced standards, and 10% will achieve model standards. The Central Steering Committee has called upon provinces and cities to enhance the quality of appraisals fully implement the established criteria set and address the issue of criteria debt in the development of new rural areas. Despite notable progress, significant challenges persist, including slow issuance of documents, limited budget disbursement, and delays in the implementation of pilot programs such as One Commune, One Product, Agricultural Tourism, and Digital Transformation in Rural Development. As part of their ongoing visit to New Zealand, the Gangta City delegation, headed by Mr. Pham Van Hiu, standing Vice Secretary of Gangta City Party Committee and Chairman of Gangta City People's Council, met with the government of Palmerston City, New Zealand. During discussions, Mr. Pham Van Hiu proposed that both parties explore the establishment of exchange programs for managers, educators, and students, as well as initiatives to facilitate the mobility of students and researchers between Gangta and New Zealand. Gangta also expressed a keen interest in welcoming additional volunteers from New Zealand, particularly from Palmerston, to conduct English language training. Furthermore, he underscored the necessity for enhanced collaboration in scientific research and technology transfer, with a focus on waste management, environmental protection, resource efficiency, and climate change mitigation. Gangta is prepared to host scientists from Palmerston and New Zealand to engage in collaborative research, projects, and the development of climate change adaptation models that benefit both the city and the broader Mekong Delta region. Gangta City People's Committee has approved a proposal to draft a resolution on mechanisms and policies for foreign language teaching and learning in public preschool and general education institutions by 2030. The proposal addresses public preschool and general education institutions, preschool children, students, and organizations engaged in foreign language instruction. It seeks to attract participants to collaborate with these institutions until 2030, facilitating the introduction of preschoolers to English or another foreign language and providing secondary and high school students the opportunity to learn a second language. Tuition fees will adhere to the City People's Council resolution, along with additional policies aimed at supporting children and students in their foreign language education. The Department of Education and Training of Gangta City will train teachers in pedagogical skills and instructional methods, ensuring voluntary participation from students and parents.
Coming up next is the weather forecast. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.